All right, I am super, super annoyed tonight. So yet again, the Yankees played another spring training game, this time against the Blue Jays. That was not televised. Second night in a row that this has happened. In baseball's continued attempts to quote-unquote grow the game, they will not air a spring training game in which the Yankees' ace, Garrett Cole, is on the mound. And when they have guys like Rizzo and LeMahieu in the lineup, and when they're wearing their beautiful white pinstripe jerseys, Yes Network, Major League Baseball is like, nah, fine, but we'll put something else up there. What are you putting up there? Another rerun of Yankeeography? Oh, great. I want to see Thurman Munson's Yankeeography for the 150th time. Is that really worth it? Overseeing Yankees, Blue Jays, and not only that, on a night in which the Yankees hit four home runs. Four home runs. And not only that, Josh Donaldson hits his first home run at City Point today. Josh Donaldson. The man who has been a punchline for months. He hit a home run tonight. A three-run home run. First of all, right, let me take it back here before I lose my mind. Let me take it back here. So... Top of the first inning, Yankees get on board immediately with DJ hitting his first home run in spring training, 410 feet, to, uh, 410 feet into center right, his first home run. Immediately after that, Giancarlo Stanton singles, then Anthony Rizzo doubles. That sets up for Donaldson with a three-run home run, his first home run in spring training. Yankees up 4 nothing. After that, we have a walk from Calhoun. Um, Peraza grounds into a fielder's choice. And then Estevan Florial, a two-run home run of his own. He makes it 6 to nothing. That travels 356 feet. The Yankees were hitting bombs tonight and hitting them really fast. LeMahieu, 100 miles an hour. Donaldson, 99. Floyd, I guess, was the least uh, exciting in that regard. was 90, 92, 93 miles an hour, but 356 feet. Three home runs in one inning. Six nothing Yankees after one. And again, we can't see any of this because baseball decided this isn't worth it. And then in the bottom of the third, we see Oswald Peraza hit a home run himself. Makes it 7-2. Four home runs. That was a 408-foot shot, 104 miles an hour off the bat. Yankees win this one here. And also, because we got to talk about it here, Cole was on the mound. He went is in total four and two-thirds, six hits, three runs, no walks, six strikeouts for an ERA of 2.45. He did go one, two, three in the first inning with two strikeouts. In the third inning, he get, did give up a two-run home run to um, the Blue Jays player, Nunez, Rainier Nunez. That was the only minor problem for him tonight, which is fine. You know, it's good seeing Cole out there looking good. But... I, my God, if Josh Donaldson hits a home run and it's not on television, did it happen? <laughs> if no one is around to see it, there, there's no proof that this home, except for these, the videos I gave you are videos of after the home run. There is no proof that there were before these, that there were home runs before this clip started. Awful, stupid, and I hate Major League Baseball for the fact that they are not allowing or showing any of this. It's garbage, and hopefully we'll get like highlights afterwards. It's stupid, it's ridiculous, it's nonsense. But... Yankees do win this one today. It was great seeing the offense at bats come alive against Toronto, who's probably going to be our toughest opponent in the American League East. So that was good to see there. But, God, I, want, I wanted to watch these home runs. I wanted to see these. Major League Baseball, Yankees, Yes Network, get your act together, please. We want to see every... How is it that in 2023 we still can't get every spring training game? It doesn't, it's not the way in basketball. It's not the way in football. Why is it in baseball? Please get your act together. So that's it for now. The Yankees play the Phillies tomorrow. I have no idea if it's on television because at this point, who the hell knows? But hopefully there will be a Yankees-Phillies game tomorrow. I want to clock and we'll break that down. Oh, and, and I should also mention before we go, IKF becoming a center fielder. I mean, I'm glad he's not being a shortstop, but God, the Yankees are just... What did IKF have on Brian Cashman and Aaron Boone? That, that they have to constantly bring this guy in. What is that? Why? He's never played outfield. We're going to ask him, hey, just play center field here for a while? I mean, maybe it'll go well. I mean, it can't be worse than him playing short. But good God, the Yankees are just, they just ha they're trying to make IKF happen. It's not going to happen. So annoying there, but I'm glad that he's away from short. That's all that matters. So, yeah, Yankees, Phillies tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to see make sure you subscribe down below. I will see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully I will have highlights for you. But at this point, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe the highlights are going to be in black and white, okay? I can't guarantee anything with Yankees in Major League Baseball these days. Take care and God bless.